Welcome to DIY with Herman James. I'm Herman James, and on today's episode, I'm putting magnets on stuff. Welcome everybody, thank you for tuning in. Um, we have a little wind here in the Sacramento area today, so you're gonna hear some creaking coming from uh, my garage door. But like I said in the intro, putting some magnets on stuff today. Why, what am I doing? Well, this little sign my wife got me a while back. Cheap sign, just for fun. Works for the uh, bottle caps for the beers we keep in the kegerator, and it was held right here. And if you remember from some previous videos, I actually hung this TV up here, ran all the electrical everything back to it, checking the uh, videos up here or in, in LinkedIn. There's a video on this, on how to install it and run the wires. But on today's video, I'm looking to see where I can put this in my garage. Now since everything and all the walls are taken up with what I've got over here for all the wiring at. It looks like a mess, but it's an organized chaos. So I can't hang anything here, can't hang things here. You would think on those metal shelves or the cabinets, maybe, but no, because they have to swing out and hit things. There's nowhere over here. There's no place in here. I'm not gonna hang them up on here because I like them. So I'm gonna put magnets on the back of those. And then we're going to put it right there. We are going to put it right on the keg grater because that makes sense, putting that frame on a keg grater. So let's take a look at what I picked up. All right, so I've got two sets of magnets here. I've got some round ones and some rectangular ones. They're calling them rare earth magnets. I don't know or whatever. They're magnets, like they stick. They, they do stuff. I don't know. So, off Amazon, I'll put a link in the description down below. So, the real idea is, there's not much on the back of this thing. So I thought, maybe some of these rectangular guys on the back of here would be cool to be able to uh, get them to work. So, what you can't also see is, I do have some hanging areas right here that you do for the nails, um, but we're not gonna use nails and they might have a push out a little bit. So let's see uh, how we can get this work. Alright, so now that we've got all the magnets on here, let's go put on the keg grater. I didn't take the uh, idea into consideration that uh, magnets on the back might attract the aluminum bottle caps on the inside. Oops. Oh. Well. Let's get over to the keg writer. Here it is. Let's figure it out. And the answer is no. It is too heavy to hold. So that just means more magnets. Back to the workbench. All right, so I've got two magnets left. To get better adhesion, let's remove those. They sit level, but no need to have them. Will two more do? Two more did. 
it is slidey, but it is pulling around. We'll see as we fill up with more bottle caps if they're going to hold. So that's it for this episode. Uh, if it's your first time watching, please consider subscribing. It leaves a comment below. Tell me what you think I did wrong, what I did right, what you liked about this, what you've done with rare earth magnets or keg graders, and let me know. Thanks for watching, and I can't wait to be in your eyes and ears next time.